Good morning, I wanted to discuss the dosing of colistin in our intensive care unit. I have been reading some recent studies that suggest we might need to reconsider our dosing strategies. Good morning, I am glad you brought it up. I have also come across some new information regarding colistin dosing. What have you found? Well, it seems that traditional dosing of colistin based on total body weight might not be optimal. Some studies suggest that using the ideal body weight or adjusted body weight could lead to more accurate dosing, especially in obese patients or those with altered renal function. That's interesting. We do encounter a fair number of obese patients in the ICU, and their dosing requirements can be challenging to determine. What dosing strategies are recommended for these patients? One approach is to calculate the ideal body weight using the patient's height and gender, and then use that weight for dosing. Another option is to adjust the dosing based on the patient's renal function using creatinine clearance. This way we can customize the dose to the individual patient. That makes sense. It's crucial to ensure we are administering the appropriate dose to maximize efficacy while minimizing the risk of toxicity. Do these studies provide any specific recommendations for dosing adjustments? Yes, some studies suggest that using a loading dose of colistin followed by maintenance doses based on ideal or adjusted body weight can achieve adequate drug exposure. However, it's important to monitor the patient's renal function closely and adjust the dose accordingly to prevent toxicity. Absolutely. Close monitoring is essential. We should also consider the minimum inhibitory concentration of the specific organism we are targeting. Some pathogens might require higher doses to achieve adequate efficacy. Agreed. It's crucial to consider both the patient's characteristics and the minimal inhibitory concentration when determining the appropriate dosing regimen. I think... It's worth discussing these findings with our pharmacy team to ensure we're implementing the most up-to-date dosing strategies in our ICU. That's a great idea. Collaboration with the pharmacy team is essential for optimizing medication regimens. Let's schedule a meeting with them to review the new evidence and discuss potential adjustments to our coalition dosing practices. I am glad we had this discussion. It's important to stay updated with the latest research to provide the best care for our patients. Let's work together to improve our colistin dosing in the ICU. Absolutely. I appreciate your initiative in bringing this topic to my attention. I look forward to our meeting with the pharmacy team and implementing any necessary changes to enhance patient outcomes.